tell you how a hydroelectric plant works. So here's a diagram of a hydroelectric plant, but it's more commonly known as a dam. Shown on the left side of the diagram, you have what is called a reservoir, which is another name for lake. Now the water flows through the intake, which is the gate-like structure that helps control the flow of water. Furthermore, the water begins to flow through the penstock. Depending on the amount of drop in elevation will determine how much power will be produced. The reason is that gravity will be pouring the water down, resulting in the water flowing faster through the penstock, which will allow more water to go through the intake and produce more power. At the end of the penstock, you'll find a turbine. At the bottom of the turbine are propellers. Now when water flows through these propellers, they begin to spin. And when the propellers are spinning, the rotor, which is located at the top of the turbine, begins to spin too. This will produce power through the generator, which is located above the turbine. And these are both connected through a shaft. Now the generator is located in a powerhouse, which houses a bunch of other generators. Power lines are connected directly to the generator to give direct feeds to homes and businesses. After the water leaves the turbine, it'll flow back into the river. This will be known as a renewable source. Hydroelectric plants are safe for the environment. Since hydroelectric plants do not burn fossil fuels, they do not directly produce carbon dioxide. Hydroelectricity eliminates the fluid gas emissions from fossil fuels combustions, including pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, nitric oxide, carbon monoxide, dust, and mercury in the coal. Hydroelectricity also avoids the hazards of coal mining and the indirect health effects of coal burning. Hydroelectricity generates no nuclear waste and has none of the dangers associated with uranium mining, nor nuclear leaks. Unlike uranium, hydroelectricity is also a renewable energy source. Hydroelectricity power plants have a more predictable load factor. If the project has a storage reservoir, it can be dispatched to generate power when needed. U.S. switch to hydroelectric energy will be saving $22 billion in oil burning. The labor cost is practically eliminated because the plan is mainly automated. And hydroelectric plants last for generations. A few dams are over 50 years old and are still in service. Here are the top 10 countries with the most hydroelectric capacity. China, Canada, Brazil, US, Russia, Norway, India, Japan, Sweden, and France. Join the trend today and switch to hydroelectric.